when the keys come in, it's a good idea to uh, wrap them five or six at a time, tape them up, saves them from bouncing around and getting damaged. And this is kind of the way I package them when we send them back to the customer. What I'm going to do now is measure the height of the keys as they come in so that we can get a target measurement that will duplicate when these keys are all finished. We measure with a thousandths of an inch dial indicator. Be careful of a bevel right here. With the key top, the old key top material in place. And here we're getting about 150 thousandths. One inch, I'm sorry, one inch and 50 thousandths. And we'll check another couple just to be sure that we're not getting fooled by something. That's 155, 1 and 55, and another 150. So we'll put 1 inch and 50 thousandths on the side of the key. And that'll be our reference that we're going to look at when we're all complete, that we have the original height left over. If we don't, in a vertical piano, these may not fit under the fallboard if they're too thick. And in a grand piano, you're going to have regulation problems if they're too high or too low. So this dimension has to be maintained.